What's up, guys? I want to recap yesterday what happened with the Congress uh, congressional hearing against CEOs like um, uh, Robin Hood, Citadel, Reddit, Melvin Capital, even the YouTuber was on it. So uh, if you guys don't know, uh, last month, basically Robin Hood stopped trades, or I should say what came first was there's a Reddit group that regular investors that wanted to kind of uh, uh, mess up big hedge funds, okay? So he decided to buy a ton of GameStop, which was cheap. At that time, I believe it was $4 and, and some change, and it drove the price all the way to over $300. Next day, Robinhood put a stop to it. Uh, the rumor has it that partners involved with Robinhood, um, they told him to stop it because these partners had monetary interests in shorting the stock, meaning they were betting GameStop would come down, and it didn't. Uh, it actually went up. Uh, so that was the rumor. Um, a lot of people were mad because they wanted to buy, get in, first off, get into the GameStop uh, run, along with a few other uh, stocks, meme stocks. And also people that had a high uh, amount of stock, GameStop stock um, at that price, wanted to sell and make a pretty good amount of money. So um, I've done the video before what Vlad Tenev, who is the CEO of Robin, has said. Uh, however, yesterday was official hearing. Congress got involved in trying to figure out you know, who's at fault here, whether there's any uh, manipulation in the market, that type of stuff. So let's check it out. So Congress basically um, questioned um, the CEOs of Robinhood, Citadel, Reddit, and Melvin Capital, and also the YouTuber who he's referred to as Warren Kitty, who's a uh, just regular investment guy. He's not like a hedge fund manager, nothing like that. Um, he was part of the Reddit group that uh, drove up the price of GameStop, so they questioned him as well. So overall, um, if you guys are looking, you know, anything juicy happened? Pretty much, I won't say anything juicy happened. It was more of uh, each CEO and each person not taking any blame for it uh, and not blaming anyone else except for um, Robinhood. So Vlad, the CEO of Robinhood, just basically stuck with the story that they didn't have enough money to cover the upfront cost of its customer stock purchases. Okay, so that's um, they basically got a bill for over $3 billion, which is like some analysts predict, I mean, that's like. 10 times what they would normally have to uh, deposit. So um, they wanted to sort of, now I guess panic mode in their end, I guess, and stop trading so that no one, they want to, uh, they work on bringing down the cost of the of the deposit. And that $3, $3 billion bill came from the National Securities Clearing Corporation. They were not a government run or agency. It's a, a coalition that uh, requires um, certain deposits to be met for uh, orders to go through. Robinhood is not process orders. So they, they basically get your order, your stock, and then they send it to basically a clearinghouse, okay, that then uh, needs to have the stock basically settle through a third party, if you will. Um, now where the, uh, if you connect in the dots as far as the rumor mill goes, so Melvin Capital was a big player in shorting the stock of GameStop. And I put out a uh, video yesterday, the day before, how their CEO or founder, I guess, yeah, founder and he's a chief investment officer, um, put out a statement saying that they've been shorting GameStop since uh, Melvin Capital was formed, I believe, seven, six years ago or so. So uh, again, he's not putting blame, but then he also dismissed that Citadel Capital Happened to give them two to three billion dollars, I believe, in uh, capital for them to invest. So, um, going back to Citadel, Citadel has a sister company which is separate from the Citadel company. It's called C Citadel Securities. You have Citadel Security that is responsible for thirty million dollar of Robinhood's revenues from equities. So the connection is this: Melvin Capital had a lot of money uh, involved with shorting GameStop. Uh, stock that money came from Citadel, all right. Citadel sister company who works with Robinhood basically, uh, according to the rumor, told Robinhood to stop because our sister company is gonna lose a lot of money because Citadel's customer, essentially Melvin Capital, was losing billions of dollars because of the price of GameStop. So they told him to stop trading. So, um, that's 
kind of connecting the dots with the rumor mill. Now, as far as what was said yesterday in the hearing, like I said, not too much juicy stuff. Everyone uh, talked about they were kind of on the same page in the sense that we're not to blame. We had nothing to do with this. Citadel, CEO of Citadel basically said, you know, hey, we gave Melbourne Capital money before all this stuff happened and um, and nothing to do with the, the shorting of, of GameStop. We were already invested that much money into Melvin Capital. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and on a side note, I guess, uh, I'm not sure if he was the last one to be interviewed um, or questioned. His name is Keith Roaring Kitty Gill. He's a stock trader, made a name for himself as YouTuber. Um, he specializes in stock advice. Um, and he basically just said he would still buy GameStop uh, stock at its current value. He thinks it's, uh, he initially bought it months ago because it was undervalued. And um, he just believed in the company because uh, they figured out they were going to sell a lot of um, PlayStation 5s and the new Xboxes, all this stuff. So who knows? The reason why Congress is questioning him because obviously he was. He was the big one. He was one of the pushers in the Reddit group, pushing, hey, let's buy more stocks to drive it up. So if he's pushed, he had stock before the price went up, and now the price is going up. So he can make a whole lot of money because he's telling people to buy stock to push it up in a sense. So really not much stuff. I mean, as far as like who's going to get in trouble here, I don't think legally too many people or no one's going to get in trouble from the government in a sense. I know there's lawsuits happening right now. Um, and I did a video of how if you want to join the lawsuit, uh, what to do. Uh, but I think from a reputation standpoint, Raul has a little damage. Um, obviously, no one, you know, me and you are not going to sit. I'll give them our money to invest all in Melbourne Capital. So I think from a PR standpoint, yeah, it's a little damaging. Um but I think that um, I don't think Realm has going to go out of business anytime soon. Long story short. So that being said, I do have a link, affiliate link down below, if you want to sign up for Realm Hood and get some. Uh, there's some incentive for you guys signing up. Uh, there's another link down below for Webull. So that's another affiliate link. So if you guys have any questions, comments, I like to hear them. Drop them down below on this. Uh, if you guys are done with Robin Hood, um, you guys were looking to. Or you guys have Robin Hood and you're looking to get out? Uh, let me know if you guys are planning, still planning that after you know this sort of formal investigation, if you will, um, or if you're on the fence that you thought about joining Robin Hood and you're waiting to see how this plays out. Just want to hear what you guys think. So if you guys are new to the channel, appreciate if you guys hit the subscribe button, bring you content like this every single week, along with crypto news, uh, stimulus news, and news for small that can affect small businesses. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.